Introduction to Signals and Systems is one of the first courses students take in either electrical or computer engineering. Signals and systems are pervasive in our everyday lives. You'll find them in everything from smartphones to audio equipment, autonomous vehicles, and even medical devices. In this course, we focus on analog signals, which are physical phenomena that convey some kind of information that depends on time. For example, the velocity of a car as it changes with time. We also describe systems that interact with those signals. For example, a car is a system whose dynamics relate the throttle signal, in other words, the gas pedal, to the effect on the velocity signal. In general, analog signals and systems are used in a variety of domains. Students learn some of the basics for later work in fields like digital signal processing, image processing, power systems, control and automation, communications, computer vision, embedded systems, even data science and machine learning. We use a textbook and supplementary notes written by our own faculty. Along with the lectures, there are several labs which provide students a chance to build their own circuits and also do some simulations. For instance, after learning the basics of modulation, students build a radio receiver. Computers are used to process analog signals using measurements and samples at obtained at fixed time intervals. Students learn Claude Shannon's sampling theorem, which is a critical link between an analog signal and the corresponding digital, in other words, sampled, signal. As a side note, Shannon was a Michigan native and UM alum, and you can walk by his sculpture every time you walk in the west entrance of the EECS building. Students also learn how to study the performance of entire systems, for example, an automotive suspension system, the power grid, or an embedded system. What students learn about signals and systems is transferable to many different fields, such as electronics, data science, robotics, or even finance. The ability to understand signals and systems will have a lasting impact on one's ability to shape the world of technology around them.